Okay, we're talking about the zero product rule, which means if you multiply any two things together to get zero, then one or the other one has to be zero. Subsequent videos will explain why this is the case, but here's how you would use that fact. So I have these two things multiplied together, and they're equal to zero. What that helps me do is separate them and say either that one's equal to zero or this guy's equal to zero. And once I know that, all of a sudden I have some very easy equations to solve. So then I can just solve for x here. So x is negative 4 halves or negative 2. Solve here and I have x is 1. So my answers are either x equals negative 2 or x equals 1. Well, they're both answers, but either one or the other is at any given time true.